We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. We expect a good one out of this Diamond Dynasty matchup between the Humpback Whales and the Senators. Digging in, Ryan Sandberg. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The second baseman, Ryan He's ready. Here's the first offering. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Now the pitch. A ball and two strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. Yelich is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Coming to the plate now, Vidal Bruhan. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0 1. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. And he missed with it. It's one and two. In tight with the slider, two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Fastball called for strike two. Down 0 2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. And it's a ball and two strikes to Reggie. The 1 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. Stepping into the box, Mini Minoso. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Popped him up. Sanchez moving to his left one out first pitch of the at bat on its way in there no balls in the strike bases are empty one man out and that misses one and one Yelich is a guy that thrives in these opposite handed matchups he's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right handed pitching yeah because he's thinking big part of the field he's not a dead pole guy this is a guy that likes to use gap to gap and when that's happening you stay on anything fading away from you to two balls and two strikes now. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Again, he sends it out of play.
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Matthews is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Settling in now, Chipper Jones looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. On to Stargill at first, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. He'll get us started in the top of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line towards center field. The Cunha has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Stepping in, Nolan Jones. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. Throw on to first, two gone. So digging in now, Eddie Matthews, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Bounce towards the second baseman. Anderson picks it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate, Willie Stargell. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Schmidt is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty D, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw in a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. A ball and two strikes now. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So a runner on first with one out now. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0 and 2 now. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, You've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Tim Anderson becomes out number two. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Oh, fooled him badly there. I mean badly. It's one and two. Fouled off. Stargell leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. And another foul ball. 
ready with another 2-2. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Willie Stargell. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some? There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Clark Schmidt. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a two out single. At the plate now, Ryan Sandberg, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning.